Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And today's viewer's question is a fight starter. It reads, What is the difference between York Rite Masonry and Scottish Rite Masonry? And which one is considered mainstream? There is no difference whatsoever. Not really, I just wanted to give you an answer you probably haven't heard before about this topic. So what are the actual differences? Well, you will usually generally hear that York Rite is more theological and that Scottish Rite is more philosophical, uh, meaning in general that York Rite for focuses more on the religious aspects or how Freemasonry can be applied religiously or what Freemason kind of teachings we can get out of religion, back and forth, however, and meaning that in the Scottish Rite Masonry it's more of a uh, thinking process about what can we learn about uh, ourselves throughout any lesson we can find in any kind of religion that it that is out there. However, it bears mentioning that at the end of the York Rite, of which there are nine degrees uh, after the three that you received in the symbolic or blue lodge, uh, you will be termed as a Sir Knight or a Knight Templar is just the the easy and common tongue way of explaining what you get to uh, at the end of being a uh, member of the York Rite. So you uh, you go through the order of the temple uh, as the last set of orders. They are termed as orders, not degrees, and you become a Knight Templar. Uh, over on the Scottish Rite, they flesh it out into uh, 33 degrees. And of that, the first three degrees are part of the uh, of the symbolic lodge, so they don't start anything until the fourth degree. And when you reach the 32nd degree, uh, we're using the term called Knight Kadosh, and Kadosh is said to mean temple. So again, you are a Knight of the Temple, or said more plainly, a Knight Templar. Uh, some probably the most striking difference over in the York Rite you in order to go through and become a Knight Templar you must profess uh, that you were baptized as a Christian uh, and uh, swear fealty toward the Christian religion that you would defend the Christian religion uh, over in the Scottish Rite you need not make any such statement so you can be of any faith and still learn those lessons and go through similar but quite different degrees over in the in the Scottish Rite so that's probably again the most striking difference between the two as far as which one is considered more mainstream well it depends on how you want to look at it. Um, I do not have access to the strict numbers of things, um, but I have heard it said on more than one occasion from people who I would tend to believe uh, that Scottish Rite has more Masons that are members of the Scottish Rite than York Rite can claim for membership in the York Rite. However, uh, taking that a bit further, uh, the York Rite uh, could claim that there are more grand lodges that recognize and perform the three degrees of masonry under what they would consider the York Rite version of those three degrees as opposed to states that practice the first three degrees in the way the Scottish Rite would have them be presented. So take your pick on what to consider as mainstream and and go from there I personally am a member of both and I am a member of both for uh, the strict purpose that I get different lessons and learn more things uh, in a different way from each uh, each body so there are things that 
are in the York Rite that speak volumes to me, and and I feel like I have more to learn on those things, and so I I, I stick with it. And over on the Scottish Rite, uh, there are again specific things that speak to me there, and things that I want to learn more about. Now, because the Scottish Rite has sort of fleshed these lessons out over more numbers of degrees there are a lot more layers of the onion sort of to peel back and that's something that intrigues me I, I like trying to do that but so much of the symbolism in Freemasonry can be tied to the lessons of the Holy Bible and therefore Christian symbolism which you can find very well explained over in the York Rite. Now the Scottish Rite has uh, some very good marketing. Uh, so it's real prevalent to see, see things uh, like the House of the Temple in Washington, D.C., the Scottish Rite Research Society, which I recently joined, uh, the uh, Master Craftsman Program that the Scottish Rite hosts, where you can do a correspondence learning program. So there, there's a lot where that you know about those things, but the York Rite has similar things. Now they don't have, to my knowledge, a, uh, a central building that would be akin to the House of the Temple, but uh, they do have research societies, they do have education programs and correspondence programs that you can go through, uh, and many other things like that. So it may not be as prevalent uh, or as noticed as the Scottish Rite is, but it is certainly there. So I would encourage you to uh, look at both of those. The only reason not to go York Rite is if you can't say, I'm a Christian, I was baptized a Christian, I would defend the Christian religion. If if you can't say that, uh, then avoid it and go with the Scottish Rite. You won't learn the exact same lessons, but you will get some understanding of the same type of things that are in the York Rite, and then some other things, different things, and, and some extra uh, things that get expounded upon. Now, over uh, if you can join the York Rite, uh, then you're going to learn things in a different way than gets explained in the Scottish Rite. It's going to go into a more um, biblical understanding of uh, the, those specific lessons of morality and, and get a little less philosophical. But I personally have a, an issue trying to be so plain as to say that the York Rite is theological and that the Scottish Rite is philosophical because there is a ton of religion in the Scottish Rite version as well. Uh, so I think it has a lot of theology in there as well. But that's just me for myself and I. At the end of the day, both organizations are expounding upon the first three degrees in Masonry continuing a story, developing on it further, and giving men more tools to be able to apply lessons to their lives that can make them interact with those around them in better ways and bring themselves to a more centered position in their life where they can be more balanced and more understanding, more just, more fair, and again back to just being more moral. So I hope that gives you some information uh, about which one you might be interested in joining. Um, I, uh, again, enjoy being a member of both organizations. Because I learned about the Scottish Rite Master Craftsman Program, before I learned that the York Rite had a similar program, I, I'm already involved with the Scottish Rite. I'm going to finish that one first, but I am going to go and do the York Rite uh, correspondence program as well uh, because I'm searching for more light just like all of you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who are members of things like the York Rite College or members of the Rosicrucians, uh, and I'm sure there's other members of the Scottish Rite and the different forms that it takes in other jurisdictions. So leave your comments down below uh, and let this brother know what it is that speaks to you about a particular right uh, or why you join both or anything else you'd like to add to this conversation. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch. We'll see you next time. Bye.